What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm going to show you how to install Brother TD4520TN. Uh, first thing first, if you're having some issue, always go to printers and scanners. Go to printers and scanner here and make sure the device is not here, right? If it's here, you can click on it and remove it. So we can do the installation. All right, let's get to it. Just install number one, the SDK. Everything is going to be happening right here, which is really cool. Just click yes. And then OK. If you already have uh, an SDK on your computer, it's going to uninstall it and reinstall the, the latest version, which is OK. So when it finish uninstalled, that's OK. Just wait for it until like, you know, a couple seconds until it pops up and says like when it says here finish, it's going to run again. Just wait a second and then it's going to install again. See, so this is if you already have uh, the SDK on your computer, that way it makes sure it's the latest. SDK next next everything is straightforward there's nothing to it next and then finish all right now we need to install the driver uh, I should have said that before especially uh, please keep the printer turned off until you know the drive the, the installation tells you turn it on so let me do that while I'm here we won't have any problems all right I'm doing the same thing or I turned off now we're gonna click on downloading the driver click yes and then I agree make sure here it's TD 4520 TN so it's right there make sure you select the right one click OK click local database we're not gonna do wire, uh, wired but we will be making video about that click next and installation complete and let's turn it back on and it doesn't really click finish so it did detect it which is cool all right now we need the the brother uh, p touch it's very really important everything's happening here so i made it easier for you guys and then yes i agree install this one why is this one important i mean you're not going to edit anything but this one it will install all the fonts so it, this step is, is very important too and the last step is the the most important why because the last step where you have to um, create a custom label size because this one is four inch and we're trying to use it for the uh, two inches for the all chain sticker so all right done now you know the setup for uh, setup custom label let's go ahead and go to printer and scanners and then go to printer and scanners and we're going to find the printer right here the brother td right there just go to printer printing preferences if you don't have the same window just try to click on it to get to printing preferences click on that go to basic and then we're going to click on settings right here and then click yes and we need to add a new one right here just call it uh, own change sticker and uh, don't change anything right here the the width is 2.25 the length 1.25 um, margins 0 0 click OK click OK and then exit and it's telling you hey you make sure make sure you select it so because it doesn't select automatic so we're gonna click on that and go to all chain sticker now we have it click apply click OK and uh, you're all set let's go ahead and test it out real quick make sure it prints print I hope you can hear it. Appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.